this is Bill from Sparky Channel and today we're going to do box fuel calculations for this 4x4 box. Into this box we have 5 12 2 with ground cables. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cables. So that means we got 10 conductors. The hots and the neutrals are conductors. And we'll have 5 ground wires. The box itself is marked as 32 cubic inches. A volume inside the box and we're going to install a mud ring that is 6.1 cubic inches in volume and into the mud ring we're going to be installing a switch and a receptacle what do you think do you think it's going to work do you think we're going to be in violation of box fill rules or do you think we're going to be okay let's go to the code book and find out we'll start at table 314.16B1 in the 2023 NEC volume allowance required per conductor. So this is the size of conductor right here, AWG. And so we got 12 gauge right here. So we're gonna go over here. We find that the cubic inches per 12 gauge conductor is 2.25. So we have 10 of these 12 gauge conductors. So we would multiply this by 10. So we now have 22.5 cubic inches accounted for with the 10 conductors. So far we have a 32 cubic inch box and a 6.1 cubic inch mud ring for 38.1 cubic inches total. And we have 10 conductors which equals 22.5 cubic inches. We're doing real well so far. Now let's find out how much we have to allow for the switch and the receptacle. Here we are at NEC 314.16B for device or equipment fill. For each yoke or strap containing one or more devices or equipment, a double volume allowance in accordance with Table 314.16B1 shall be made for each yoke or strap based on the largest conductor connected to a device or devices or equipment supported by that yoke or strap. So our switch will get a double volume allowance and our receptacle will get a double volume allowance. Here we are at the table and our largest conductors are 12 gauge. So we go over, it's 2.25 and we have two of these volume allowances for the switch and we have two of these volume allowances for the receptacle. So that would be 2.25 times four, which equals nine cubic inches. So we add the two devices to the 10 conductors, and now we have 31.5 cubic inches. How about the integral box clamps? Some people feel that they should be part of the calculations for box fill. So let's call these internal clamps. And let's see what the code has to say about internal clamps. Here we are at 2020 NEC 314.16B2. Clamp fill. Where one or more internal cable clamps, whether factory or field supplied, are present in the box, a single volume allowance in accordance with table 314.16B1 shall be made based on the largest conductor present in the box. No allowance shall be required for a cable connector with its clamping mechanism outside the box. So we'll add one volume allowance for the internal clamps, which is 2.25 cubic inches. So we have a subtotal now of 33.75 cubic inches. Now we just have one more item to add to our box fill calculations. This is NEC 314.16B5, Equipment Grounding Conductor Fill, where up to four equipment grounding conductors enter a box, a single volume allowance in accordance with Table 314.16B1 shall be made based on the largest equipment grounding conductor entering the box. A one quarter volume allowance shall be made for each additional equipment grounding conductor that enters the box based on the largest equipment grounding conductor entering the box. So in our example, we have five ground wires coming into the box from out of the box. So 
the first four count as a single volume allowance. And the fifth one carries a one quarter volume allowance. So let's do our final box fuel calculations and see how we came out. So now we'll add ground wires one through four, which gets one full allowance for 2.25 cubic inches. And then ground wire number five gets one quarter of one allowance. So 2.25 divided by four is 0.5625. And that gives us a grand total of 36.56 cubic inches. And the box with the mud ring included is 38.1 cubic inches. So it passes, congratulations. And if you said it was gonna pass, you're correct. So thank you very much. And I hope this video was helpful.